everyone. We are at Devil's Tower National Monument here in Wyoming with Park Ranger Tyler. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, Give excited. us just the brief history of this monument. Sure. So right behind us is Devil's Tower or yeah. Bear Lodge. This is a national monument. It was designated in 1906 by President Theodore Roosevelt. We were actually the first national monument in all of America. We have over 130 national monuments in the United States now. The Devil's Tower, it's a monolith made out of igneous rock. And this igneous rock is called phonolite porphyry. It likely formed maybe around 60 million years ago is when that rock solidified, but it was underneath a whole bunch of other rock layers, sedimentary rocks. And as you drive up to the upper parking lot at Devil's Tower National Monument, you might be able to see all of these sedimentary rocks below it. So that used to be kind of a flat area throughout here. This magma pocket pushed up all of those other rocks, solidified underground, and then everything eroded down around what we see as uh, this rock monolith, Devil's Tower, Bear Lodge. And this rock is much, much harder than that local sedimentary rock layer. So that's why it all eroded really quickly. That Belle Fouche River flows right at the base of Devil's Tower. So that's what's been wearing away at this landscape for so long. Oh. Okay, gotcha. This landscape has, has had people in it for thousands and thousands of years. And the Native American perspective has lots and lots of different names for it. And Bear Lodge is, is one of them, essentially. Um, 26 different affiliated tribes you know, find this place to be spiritually significant. Yeah, some of them, you know, consider this to be a sacred site. So you'll see these prayer bundles, prayer flags, throughout this site on a lot of these different trails. And essentially those are physical manifestations of prayers. You know, when you see those, we do ask that you don't like take any photos of them. And yeah, just just know that this is a site of reverence. So. Yeah, so, so yeah, coming back to, you know, these 26 different affiliated tribes, most all of them have reference to some type of bear or multiple bears chasing a group of people and you know those people are in this tight spot where this bear is maybe going to attack them they ask for help from a higher power of some kind and then all of a sudden the ground starts to raise underneath them or maybe they hop onto a rock that starts to raise into the air uh, letting them get out of reach of that bear which you know Mm -hmm. It starts to scratch the sides of it, and that's oh, what we okay. see those lines in there today. Gotcha. Uh, those lines in a geologic sense are, it's called uh, columnar jointing. Uh, so columns, so that mm -hmm. the columns of Devil's Tower, that just has to do with the, you know, when it's solidified underneath the, the earth, it crystallized in this certain, this certain way mm -hmm. that, you know, it, it basically just made those, those columns a hexagonal shape all around it. So when you enter the park, it's $25 per vehicle. We do accept all of the national park passes or what they're called interagency passes um, that will cover you for a seven day period. We do have a campground here. It's called the Belfouche Campground. It has 46 campsites. It's all first come first serve camping. There are multiple trails that go around the tower. The closest one is called the Tower Trail. It's a roughly about 1.8 miles when you're all said and done. It has an accessible path that goes up to the start of the loop itself. So that accessible path gets you almost just to the base of it. So it is ADA accessible up to that point. It's paved for the rest of the way around and that loop itself is 1.3. And then we also have the Red Beds Trail. So the Red Beds Trail is a 2.8 mile trail all the way around it that, you know, that just provides some uh, more space in between your big views of Devil's Tower. Mm -hmm. This is a climbing mecca. People come from all over the world to climb Devil's Tower, the, those cracks of Devil's Tower. We have over 280 climbing routes on this, on the tower itself. And yeah, anywhere from four to 5,000 people climb it every single year. Our website is extremely useful for your trip planning here. Mm -hmm. You can always give us a call or shoot us an email with any of your questions. But yeah, when you come out here, just make sure you're, you come prepared and bring some water and bring some snacks and yeah, be safe out there and help preserve and protect this place too. You know, these national park sites are everybody's park. So I can't instill that enough to everybody who comes here that yeah, we need your help in protecting this site. All right. Thank you, Tyler. Thanks. Mm -hmm.